seen the virus. Watch yourself. Okay, I'm recording this for the eighth time, and I'm making sure I have this screen up on here because this thing likes playing games today. I literally did this for the fifth time, and I'm so annoyed. Let me beat it up. Anyway, <clears throat> let us begin. TikTokers, we have never discussed on this channel before, and I do have to say, this situation itself is incredibly bizarre. I mean, I shouldn't really be much of a surprise by now, right? The most of the topics I do talk on this channel are a little bit bizarre. But this one we're talking about today starts making less and less sense the more we get through it. But first of all, let's introduce the first TikToker. Dopa Hontus, a creator with 800,000 followers, and as we can see by their bio, they say, welcome to the chaos, which sums up this situation pretty well, I've got to say. From what I can tell, looking down the page, they just kind of record their life and do like just funny videos, anything mm -hmm. that comes to mind, there's no real specific genre here. But one day, Dope Hunter started getting a bunch of comments on her video Dope saying, Hunter. is this really your account? Also, I just want to point out here, I know there are going to be people being like, why is she naming herself Dope Hunter when she looked like that? It's just like, I don't know, why do you care? Do you care? Because I don't care. We don't care, good. Do you have another account while you're scamming people? Like, what's going on here? Because it turns out there was another TikTok account with the exact same name, the exact same videos, just re-uploaded, mm -hmm. but it also had a link to a tarot card reading website. Which, by the way, does bring back some uh, worrying memories, right? Luckily, we are not talking about the TikTok sidekick today. But because of this, Doberhot has had to make a video basically saying, look, this is my only account, don't trust any other ones. Hi, my name is Erin. AKA Dopa Hunters. Okay, I'm glad you clarified your name is Erin because Dopa Hunter sounds a bit weird in my accent, doesn't it? Okay, right. Erin. I only have a TikTok and I only have an Instagram. I'm about to just pin this to the top of my profile. You know, this is happening to so many creators, right? This ain't just me, but this is happening to so many creators. Yeah, I mean, fake accounts aren't exactly uncommon on social media, right? Like, even on my own videos, I see fake accounts of me replying to people in my comment sections with the most, like, blatant, scammy links ever, right? But I feel like, for the most part, they are just bot accounts where they link to some scam that this person is running yep. through multiple accounts. But it's not just one person solely running that account. I wouldn't mm -hmm. assume so anyways. But yep. in this case, it was just one person running a fake account, and in fact, it wasn't just any person, it was also another TikToker who has quite a large following. Because this is where we get introduced to a TikToker called Karma Bites. Y'all remember how I was telling y'all about, about a bitch named Karma Bites? This is her. A goddamn thief, but a tarot reader. And like I said, anybody could read tarot. Anybody could pick up the cards and be tapped in. It is not that hard. But she's a thief. Hmm. TikToker with a quarter of a million followers, right? A pretty big account. Which is a bit weird in itself, because I don't understand why she would have to make a fake account to try and get people to purchase her, like, tarot card readings or anything when she already has a big following. But she did it anyways, and Dope Hunters or Erin actually exposed this in a video. So I think I might have found who is behind stealing my videos. Mm hmm. Go, she girl, you get it. One of my lovely followers took it upon themselves to tag another fake page that they found so i went to the little website link doesn't it look all christmasy email. and shit so i typed her email into google and it's mm -hmm. even the email that's linked to that fake page pretending to be me so anyway i could i wonder can you guys actually see my mouse you can see things gliding. i don't think you can see it i don't know how to set that we like two seconds Never mind, I can't figure out how to do it, and I'm too, like, I'll figure it out later, but I just now realize, I don't think you guys can see the mouse. You can see me move shit all over the place with this mouse. Well, you cannot see the mouse. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to work on that. Click that little link, because that's the website that pulled... Isn't it, like, Christmassy and shit? Isn't that creepy as fuck? Pulled up the same website, as you can see. It's a scam. Also, the red is unnatural. Scammer trying to scam people out of their money. Well, I clicked the link to the YouTube and guess who I found? <laughs> Y'all gonna laugh. Look. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this, bro. I wish I would have laughed at it too if I realized someone who looked like this stole my identity. The wig is terribly laid. It's like half straight, half what the fuck. 
The nails look like they're there to dig coffins. My boy builds coffins. He'll build you one too. He'll make a red one and he'll even make them blue. My boy builds coffins. That's all that he's good at. I don't know what you're asking at that. My boy builds coffins day in and day out. He might make you one if you scream, but don't shout. My boy builds coffins. He's good at it too. He built one for me, and one day he'll make one for you. For you. For you. For you. For you. Okay, I'll, I'll quit with my shit. But yeah, I just like, look at this table. Look at the back. Well, you know, I purposely set my shit up to where, like, you really can't see much of anything. Like, even these blinds right here is against the false wall where the fireplace used to be at. Which, it's just like, why would you put a window where the fireplace used to be? Considering there's one in the living room, too, and that one's blocked off with, with like, I don't know. There are a lot of windows, actually, in my place that aren't even fucking windows. Like, no light comes in, or just a, this one right here has a brick wall. But that's where the, the old fireplace used to be in this room. So it's just kind of confusing a little bit. It's just like, what the fuck? Like, why? But it's just like, I don't normally put stuff in where people can see it because it's really, really easy for people to just see something, like a window, and then try to use that to figure out where you are. This bitch right here just let me know that she's probably either in PA, Illinois, DC, or California. Maybe Arkansas, but I doubt that. But one of the facilities, just from the way she looking, the conch shells on her wrist don't help too much. The uh, like, uh, and it's like, why do you? Like, I'm not saying you can't wipe yourself. Why do you need nails that fucking long? It's gonna hurt if you smack against something. Especially their acrylic. Yeah, like, ladies, have you ever had acrylics and and you just and we're picking something up and your nail just like dead on, just yeah, just dead on, you know, just full just full force you're like you know have you ever had that happen where you're just picking something up and you just just with your nail and it just feels like the entire bone in your goddamn forearm it just it, it, uh it, it's just it, 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 uh, 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 and the nail still don't break but it'll break if you pull your zipper up ain't it some shit but yeah, I'd be laughing too if someone like this or like stole my shit. Because this is like, bitch, we don't even look alike. Like, it, this is the type of bitch who paints her face lighter, but then has a problem with light-skinned bitches. Because you can, like, look at her chest, look at her arms, look at her face. She's one of them. I mean, yeah, right, you get the point, yeah? She went through the email, searched it up, saw, like, accounts that were linked to it, and it is a woman who has an account where she does tarot card readings. Specifically, this TikToker right here, who already had a pretty big account. I mean, if we actually go over to the website, you can see the type of stuff they do. I mean, it already looks a bit scammy in itself, right? Just the way it's all set up, like, how do the stars feel and all this with all the emojis? Like, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing website I've ever seen. Here's the stuff you can pay for at the new beginning. And, and look, 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 you can see she likes fucking with people with the 666 at the end. Or she's literally telling people what, the, what kind of demon she is. I don't know. Is she on that time, though? Apparently, I'm the only one who notes this shit. Apparently, I'm the only one who picks this up and be like, wait! If the devil is in the pulpit, then the Lord has left us in the mud of cards. I don't, know, so I don't know. I'm trying to be poetic here. I know it's not working, but still. Let me go pee. Run fast for your father, run fast for your mother, run for your children and your sisters and brothers. Leave all you love and you love and behind, you can't carry it with you. If you want to survive, the dark days are over, oh, the dark days are done. Leave all your worries, cause here they come. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Anyway, look at these prices and how she wants to fuck with people in their head. All them 666s. No, I'm not of the devil. 
Ivy Todd, that could be, no, like, is that, like, is that what I'm supposed to get from this? I don't know, it's cute, though, it's cute. $100, it's making cute. money work, $86, Harmony and Bliss, $66. Like, she does your standard tarot card readings, I guess. I mean, I've never done it before, so I wouldn't know. But regardless if the service is good or not, mm -hmm. she has kind of shot herself in the foot here because who wants to trust someone running a company by using a fake account right. and TikToker to promote it? Like, you wouldn't really trust that, would you? No. But as you can imagine, Karma Bites wasn't very happy. I imagine not. This video exposed what she'd been doing, and she made a plethora of response videos where she never did nice the fact that she was involved in this but she just wants to make it very clear that she thinks erin is very wrong for exposing people who steal from you when they know they shouldn't get so fucking angry yeah you know, when i was a kid i did have a little bit of a snatching problem right because i used to be a little clip there right i un I, it, was, it was one of those things where it was like I don't have a choice but to admit this because they already know I did it, so I might as well. You know, I, I at least had the werewolf. I'll be like, "Yeah, you got me. You got me." Like there've been times I be I tried to speed and pass someone else on the wrong lane, a cop be right there, and I just pull right over to the shoulder, and he'd give me a warning because I didn't even bother making him waste taxpayer gas money. So happy, easy report, everything. When it comes to me getting caught, I will easily just be like, "Yeah, okay." You're right. Other people, I'm impressed because that no, they they completely go the exact opposite. Like for example, I had this person at work steal shit from my job, which like I wouldn't have cared if I had already like went and like scanned all that shit out to be put in like uh, the bales and shit. But she just took a whole bunch of shit. I I don't can't remember if I talked about this or not, but I'm just shortening it up. But she took a whole bunch of shit, and I went and looked for her. She had already left for like a break or lunch or something. And I was like, yeah, you need to tell that bitch. To let me know what the fuck she took and of which one so I can know the prices so I can scan all that shit out. Because other than that, she's thieving. Because she had no business taking that shit. And I went to the boss boss because my boss wasn't there. He was just like, you know what, like, I'll just go over it. We'll see what was on the thing. We'll count it from there. I go on lunch. This bitch comes looking for me. And I'm like, I need to know how many and of what you took because, well, fuck you. Then she said I could take it. She said, and then ran away to go to the boss's office. Like, I assume to say I said some shit, which is fine because I followed her right the fuck in there and be like, no, you're not telling the boss I said something. I'll tell you what I said in front of the boss so he has no confusion on what the fuck was said because I ain't doing this whole you're going to whine to somebody else. We're both going to be screaming at each other from the boss so he knows which one of us is an asshole today. And then it turns out I was an asshole because she did it to somebody else too. So I was pretty cool with it. Like, this is, uh, like, there are, she's a person who likes going behind people's back to get what she wants, but she'll scream at you like a bully in order to, like, she's like my little sister. She'll scream at you until she gets what she wants, and if she doesn't, she'll go around talking shit about you and hoping that people will listen to her over you because she's so much more presentable and she has so much more you should feel bad about her for. But in reality, it's just like, you wouldn't be in this position if you had made better choices. But I can't tell my sister that because she runs to mom and dad and she'll tell them I did something mean or I'm on drugs or some shit because that's usually the MO with my family. It's like, she must be on drugs or else why would she talk to me like that? I don't know. What other reason do I have to talk to you other than you being an ass? I would be saying the same shit on drugs or not. It's just I'm a lot less aggressive without drugs. so Or I, I, I at least make sense. And I'm not talking about having a relationship with Jesus. Which is crazy, honestly. Because I, like, I've been accused of doing a lot of shit that I've never done. But nobody ever talks about the shit I've actually done. You know what I mean? It's just like, I've been accused of being on meth and, all, and cocaine and shit by my own family members. And yeah, it's just like, but uh, no, I've been hooked on heroin because I like was dealing well with my daughter's death. Not an excuse, but that was the only excuse I could come up with at the time. In reality, I just wanted to do it so I could get away from my own feelings. Right. Um, got off of that because of my son, thank God. <clears throat> and I smoke weed. I've done acid before. That was fun. I've done coke. I've not done cocaine, but I've done coke. Cause I'm, I, I like coke is cheap, like Whitney says, and I want to be like Whitney. If I'm going to do drugs, I'm going to do them the hard way. But it was one of those things where it's just like, no, 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 and and, and it's been crazy because they've seen me when I've been hooked on shit, but they were perfectly fine with me being on it because at the time I was like working like a motherfucker. Turns out when you do certain drugs, you take up all sorts of hours and not give a fuck about overtime. Oh, I'm 19 hours over on this check? Well, I didn't know that. And that was before I started working in hospitals and shit. It was bad. 
But that, that is literally all I've ever done. I've done as of like three times in my life. I was on heroin for like a year. Bad. There were beans, but everyone was doing that, so that doesn't even really count at this point, especially since heroin's everywhere. Um, weed, yeah, which I have no problems talking about this, because it's just like, I kind of need to. Like, if I don't let people know that I've been into the shit that I've been into, uh, they're going to be confused by my behavior. And plus, then I'm not being honest with people, with my background, which is just like, it, like people are going to say whatever the fuck they want about me anyway. I can easily just tell you what the fuck I did, but if you want to listen to someone else, that's fine. But, uh, what the fuck was that? Oh, but that's something that, like, my family members have done. They've always, like, they weird accusations, but they'd always talk to everybody else around me and hoping that everybody doesn't talk to me. And it's like, okay, that's fine. That just means there's less people for me to focus on so I can focus more on myself. And then I go mind my own business. And then after a while, it, 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 the, the people who believed her... Or believe them, because it's usually not just my little sister. Like, there are other people who've done it. But usually the people who listen to them... After a while, they start paying attention to me and noticing what I'm doing, and it's just like, oh. She's got this job for five years. That's pretty good for a fucking crackhead, I gotta say. At least she's a functional one. You know, like, after a while, people start looking, it's just like, I don't think that they're on what they're saying that they're on. Oh, and I've been an alcoholic, too. I've been an alcoholic. But, yeah. But, yeah, it's just one of those where, it, and, like, nowadays with my gallbladder and shit, there are some days where I literally look like I'm just sick or fucked up or something. And people will take that shit for real, not even know what's wrong with me. And I'm just like, okay. But then they'll sit and talk to me for a few minutes. I realize, oh, there's nothing wrong with you. But that, but I was just a, a, a th an example of, like, what people we tend to do with me. It's just it's saying random shit about me. And then, like, want to sit there looking stupid. Like, they don't know why I'm comfortable being by myself. And it's just like, because I don't want to listen to you. But, like, that's something that would happen. Um... And, like, this bitch was, like, apparently at my job going around saying all sorts of shit to justify her behavior. But it was also, like, one of those things where, like, once I went in and I started yelling at her. Because at first, my boss, his natural instinct was to get in between us. And then the real instinct kicked in and he wanted to get the fuck out of the room and just leave us to each other. Because, like, it was very obvious I wasn't about to be hostile. And all she was doing was screaming at me, yelling hoping that that would be enough to want me to go out through I'm not realizing nah bitch i grew up in a traumatic household where everyone was fucking yelling at me and i'm in my i'm i'm in my better tour which means i get to yell at people <laughs> and be okay with it and just like you're gonna be so now you get to know how i felt we were going to ache the same way i ate just like um what the fuck was her name Someday you will ache like I ache. Who was that? Courtney Love! Courtney Love. Fucking loved her. I felt so bad for that bitch. I didn't understand why no one was helping her. That one time when she was on the camera, she was flopping around drunk and all sorts of other shit. Everyone was just laughing at her and making her look like trash. And this is like... Like, even as a kid, it was one of those things where it's just like, there's something wrong with her. There's something wrong with her and, like, everyone's acting like... This is just, I don't understand. Why are you all co so comfortable letting her sit there and obviously be having issues and acting like this, is, this isn't this is normal. She shouldn't be acting. Even if she was on something, I understood that, like, her being on something isn't what's fucking her up. It's just, ma the drugs just made it easier for her to cope. But whatever's wrong with her, she cannot be up. There's something else. I don't know. But th that's beside the path. Yeah, part, but like it was like she was screaming at me, but I screamed back, and it's just like, no, you're not talking to me that way. That's what my fucking family's for, and I'm not related to you. So, and my mom and dad is not here to shut me the fuck up. So, and I don't answer to nobody here because they ain't my fucking parents. So you're getting this, and they're and and the only person who needs to stop me is myself, and I know exactly. <laughs> So we're just going back and forth. And, and, and it was very clear in her head that she realized I was not backing off off it. But anyway, back to her theme and shit, right? We're going back and forth. She's telling me I'm a horrible friend. and Which, we like, as far as I'm concerned, we were never friends. Like, I, I, like at first, we kind of were. But then I started realizing that, like, anytime something wrong happened in my life, she was gleeful as shit. 
And it was like the weirdest thing. When not it never comes around unless I have like if something happens to me. And, and like I remember like when I broke up with Boo Bear, she was all up with me, be like, everything will be okay, you'll be fine. And just smile on her face, and I was just like, what are you talking about, dude? It's just a man. And also, we, me and Boo Bear know each other for like twenty two years, and so it's like I know exactly what kind of person he is. Like it's not even that big of a deal. Speaking of who, hold on two seconds. Yeah, okay, sorry about that. I'm back. Anyway. Oh, but yeah. It was like one of those things. Well, I don't know. I know I was talking about Boo Bear for a second. I don't know. Anyway, the chick who I was like arguing with or whatever. Or after she took from like my area and shit like that. Took all that shit. <clears throat> Started yelling at me being like, you're not my friend. And all of this shit. And da da da. And I'm just like, how the fuck are you going to be mad at me after you stole from me, you deaf bitch? You garbage pail shaped human being. Like, no, gar no, that's not what I said. Not garbage pail. Garbage pail kid shaped human being. That's specifically what I called this bitch because she looks like a rhododendra or whatever the fuck word I'm trying to think. I like, I don't know. Like, this is fucking ridiculous. I mean, yeah, she kept screaming at me, and then I kept screaming, and then she realized, oh, she'll actually keep yelling at me. She has no problem. I was like, I don't have no problem screaming at a bitch. Absolutely none. Like, you're not my mom. You're not my family. I don't owe you a goddamn thing. I am, at this point in my life, I'm just where it's like, I'm gonna just start yeah, cursing everybody the fuck out. Whether they deserve it or not, I'll figure it out after I'm done. I might apologize for you having to get yelled at, but maybe that'll teach you a lesson and not pissing me the fuck off ever again. I wouldn't have gone off in the first place if you hadn't pissed me off anyway. I don't know what makes you think that you didn't deserve getting cursed out, considering you decide to piss me the fuck off. So I'm sorry, but that's exactly what you deserve. So maybe you'll learn not to do that ever fuck again. And think twice. Because that was all your... That was all on you. That was all on you. And she, and, but we're going back and forth. And she's realizing I'm not one of those people. And at some point, she's like, well, I hope you don't mind digging through the trash because I threw them away. And I looked at her. I was just like, why the fuck would you throw them away if you wanted them? Hmm? Why, why did you throw them all away? Like, like, why would you throw that away, bro? Like, what are you, like, I, like, I'm not even the best human being, but it, it's one of those things where it's just like, how guilty did you feel where you had to act like a kid and just bury that Shirley Temple dress in the dirt, in the sand, knowing that you can never wear that motherfucker out because you were so upset and jealous you decided to take something from someone else. You had no business touching at that. That's what the carbon bites is like. She's that person. Who does that shit? That's what it is. In her in the first place. You don't know me at all, sweetheart. You don't let this internet stuff fool you. I don't care about them 800,000 followers. That 13.2 million. Girl, I don't care about none of that because I can guarantee you your bank account ain't got no 800K in it. Which is like, who has that? And why would that matter? Obviously, the viewers and the followers were important or else you wouldn't have gotten more people to go to your shit. Right? Because you needed her image and shit in order to get people to go to your channels and shit. That's why you stole it. The first, like, you, the, the views were kind of necessary. You need someone popular. Just, yeah. Which is crazy because this is like, why would you pick someone popular? But it's whatever. At all. So I don't care about none of that. Well, you clearly do care about it enough if you have made a fake account, right? Allegedly. Like I said, she hasn't confirmed. She keeps saying she pleased the fifth and she's not going to mention if she did make the fake account, which does make it seem like she did. But it's just not the right way to start a business, is it? By making fake accounts of someone else, pretending to be someone else so that you can scam people, right? Because they feel like they're purchasing something from their favorite TikToker. Turns out it's not even by them, it's by someone else. Like, it is a scam in that sense. You neglected to actually call the number that's associated with the business account. You neglected to do a lot of things. You didn't even DM me. You went through all that. You show all the steps that you went. Which is a crazy thing to say. It's just like, how would you know that she, if she called him or not unless it was your number? How do you say she didn't do that unless 
you would be the one to answer that, right? It's it's one of those where it's just like you hear somebody and you and you realize if you let people talk, they just keep telling on themselves. It's like why? How would you know if she DM'd or emailed or called whoever that belonged to? Unless you actually were. The, it's like she doesn't even need to say that she did it or not. She's literally admitting to it right here without having to say it. This is why reading between the lines is important. Miss Marie, I'm just saying. <laughs> But you rather have did all that to bash me? But then you can all say that you didn't reach out to get permission to use the fake account in the first place. So it kind of goes both ways. But either way, I think the point blank conclusion of this should be that you shouldn't go around faking pretending to be someone else so that you can promote your business. Pretending to be someone else so that their viewers purchase it. Thinking they're getting it from their favorite TikTok or, mm -hmm. or whatever, okay? That is not the way it should ever be done. And the situation could have just ended at that, right? Karma Bites could just say, my bad, not gonna do that anymore. And it's over. But like I mentioned, Karma Bites does go on to make um, a lot of videos, including a diss track, which we will get to eventually, but let's have a look at some of the many other videos that she actually uploaded. Hell no, I'm not admitting to nothing. I'll plead a fifth. <laughs> it don't got nothing to do with the scam, and it's got everything to do with her attacking me as a person. So yeah, that's what I mean, right? Look at how much she's got into her shadow work. Look at how she's taking accountability. Makes her proud. She never actually says that she was involved. She just says that she pleads the fifth over and over again, which take that how you will. I don't give a fuck about nothing else, including your comment. Because you're going to go to sleep. She scammed her. You're going to wake up. She scammed her. So I plead the fifth. I mean, what? I don't think she thinks it's funny. I plead the fifth. What you going to do about it? Yeah, so she constantly says in these videos that she doesn't care about the situation. Uh, she does go on to make, like... Which is crazy. Like like he says right here, 30 to 40 different videos. And she does. And she's just like, I don't care. I'm pleading the fifth. But she keeps talking. Which is like, why are you why are you still talking if you're pleading the fifth? But okay. 30 to 40 different videos. So I think she does care. I think that's safe to say. But her big point here is that she doesn't care about the scams. She just cares about the disrespect that she's being called out for the potential alleged scams. You thrive to be this delusional, baby. You don't want to be this delusional. <laughs> you do not want to be this delusional, baby. I'm telling you. Whew, it's a lot of work. Yeah, so remember at the beginning of the video when I said it starts making less and less sense the further we go? Uh, yeah, we're getting there. But yeah, throughout the many, many videos, Erin is also making response videos at the same time, so it's kind of hard to get it all in, like, chronological order because there was so much going on back and forth. Mm -hmm. But here's one of Erin's response videos. I will spit in your face in real life. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, Karma Bites does go on to say that she wants to fight Erin in person. <laughs> Which, like I said... Because the best way to take accountability is beat someone like your King Kong. Mm-hmm. The very bizarre situation. How are you mad that I actually did my research and called you out? How are you mad? How are you upset? And you're gonna sit up here and be mad at me that I didn't email you, and you're gonna sit up here and you're gonna threaten me via socials. Like, are, are really, girl? This is like. You know, there are rooms, you know, for people of this nature, like like the, the padded soft ones. Okay, right. Not sure about that last statement there. But like I said before, this is a situation that could have been solved pretty fucking easily, mm -hmm. couldn't it? Yeah, it well, absolutely. Have to end in could have, multiple but, back and forth videos saying that they're going to fight each other in person, okay? It never had to get to that point. But welcome to TikTok, I guess, because every time a situation is brought up on TikTok, it does get worse and worse, and it starts escalating a lot further than it needed to. I mean, how many videos have I just uploaded about Lauren the Mortician after thinking I would only just upload one, and the situation wasn't that deep? It then ended up being that deep, because that's what happens on TikTok. Things just escalate, like, way too far. Them views mean nothing to me. Your highest views was on a dog. You had 24 million on a dog. You posting your dog. Girl, do you know how easy that that, that is to get them? Uh, I'll tell you right now, it's not that easy because Bailey has been in many of my videos and I've never got 24 million views. And quite frankly, oh, yeah, I'm he got a cute doggy. He doesn't have a cute doggy. 24 million views? Please let me know that. I got all of a sudden popular on TikTok over a video that I posted back in August and my page just miraculously blew up like that. That is not how that goes. I have been popping on TikTok 
for a long time. Okay, so they're now just kind of arguing back and forth about like how long. This is how bitches fight, bro. Up and how long they've been popping on. Yeah, this is this is how bitches fight. We don't need to use our fists. We just try to hurt each other's feelings, but we feed off of that shit. So we're just in perpetual energy. It's perpetual, <clears throat> unlimited energy two karen bitches going back and forth at each other you can you can build you can power cities for ages just let two women argue and build each other up into a frenzy don't let them fight put it between lives but let them allow to hear what the other has to say and just let them keep talking that's perpetual energy right there that's going to save fucking lives like the pegasus program on tiktok it's all very petty how you speaking for yourself that you bashing somebody else in the same sense and you think that's gonna get you some respect? When did I bash you? When did that happen? I must have missed that. Yeah, I thought I just like showed actual evidence. Mm-hmm. Which you didn't deny the entire video. <laughs> oh my god. And it, and, it, and it's just like, why are you guys battling in bonnets? Shouldn't you be doing that coyote ugly shit where you just rip each other? You, I always thought that women got long hair so they could put like jewels and armor on it when I was a kid, so they could go in the battle and hit each other with hair. And I thought that's why like black women weren't allowed to wear hair the way they want, because like we would always keep ours braided, and that just made us battle ready. But I was a kid, and I didn't know better, so. Mm. But yeah, I don't understand why everyone's in a bonnet though. Anyway, so we're gonna go look at Karma Bites' actual um webpage. Now she doesn't have the original one. It's gone. It, it it's gone. It's gone. Hold on a second. Here it is. Uh, okay, look at the other ones on here. This is her uh channel channel uh useless, which I she made that two months ago, which. Who knows what this is for with her? But these are her little videos. Oh my god, what the fuck? Can you guys see this? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What happened to your shit? Wait, Her, she, her, they, they, well, which one? A they and them is plural. I'm, I'm not letting that go. But still, it's like, um. What? Okay, but she formerly had two channels. She had a tarot one, and she had one where she did her, um, rhymes and shit. But, uh. That negativity is being blocked. Who knows what the fuck that's about? Did you miss it, my... I have no idea what the fuck that is. I think she put all of her shit behind the paywall. Ten days ago, two weeks ago. I need to attack you. I think she put her shit behind a paywall. What? Taking my own advice. Thank you, though. What a wonderful job. It's a beautiful... What? Wow. She... my power back love it what they feel like you guys can that's something happened that's something happened what happened what does she have any lives still she does she still has a few of her what lady snapped. It's probably about what's her face. Hold on a minute, because there... Oh, okay, now you're being cute. Let's see, there's that. Being 
plot. No idea who that is. Oh, what? Oh, shit. This is playing in them. Oh, yeah. In case y'all didn't know. Wait, there are parts now! There are parts! Okay, if you guys don't know about the whole... Go to Avon Preach if you want to know about the fresh fish situation. Because I'm not getting into it. I don't really don't care. But it's just like... Where is Car... She... Got... You know what? That's fine. Here's my water. She's cool. That bitch lost her wig. How are you going to put a wig on top of a fucking... Oh yeah, this person was weird. Because I don't know what the fuck the point of them recording all this after they wrote it down is, but it's like, you're this is the wrong kind of witchy shit, but go for it, man. Um, you know what? We're going to look at one of her videos. I feel like that's one of our members' streams. Not that one. Yeah, okay, it is a member stream. Can I look at the comments? Of course I can't. That's stupid. That's stupid. Oh, yeah, she turned out the left. Like, you ass! I want to be nosy! God damn it. I hate when people do that. All right, let me... Did you know you live in a double life? The other lover doesn't understand. Okay. The person turn, is turned on it. I'm glad our readings are a little bit more whatever, but we're still gonna look at let's look at this one. Let's look at this one. But we're gonna come back to it. Hi Star Oh my god, YouTube just let that play. <clears throat> That's normal. Normally it's like YouTube does not approve of ad block services. So please remember them before you watch this, because we're gonna blow up your fucking computer if you don't. That's normally what the fuck happens. This is a treat. All right, but let's look at, like, let's hear what she sounds like. Guys, it's your favorite girl, Karma, and I'm back in this thing with Yeah, I don't care. First card out, we have the Ten of Wands. You went to, okay. Ooh. Uh-huh. Somebody, somebody sees themselves. We have I am afraid of commitment. Yeah, we have poison. I wanna Damn. kiss you but your lips are venomous poison. Yeah. Yeah, we have poison. Uh-huh. Harmful, destructive. Mm. Yeah, the ten of wands. Six of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the Emperor down below. Is that what he's bothered by, or what the chick who's thinking of him is bothered by, or someone's thinking of someone feeling like this while they're sitting on their throne? That's what I'd be looking at. I'd just be like, mm, yeah, I guess there's poison over here. I don't fucking know what this is, but we also have the Nine of Wands over here as well, which is definitely guarding. Not as much burdensome and having to like move to a different place because you're so bothered by some shit. I mean, I can still read cards. I can still read. I'll, 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 I like, I just stop because I'm not putting up with the bullshit energy, you know really what it is. Doesn't mean I can't look at someone else's and be like, oh, I can see that message in there. But why is someone guarding against that is the question. Wow. Bottom of the deck, we have Balcony. The land of love. Somebody is trying to convince somebody that something is bad for them. Like, this is bad. It's bad for you. You need to leave them alone. That's not good for you. It's you need to leave. I I don't see good things happening. When was this? Four days ago. Oh, okay. Just making sure. It's the six of cups, and they have. Let's 
Ace and Ogre. What? That's the six of cups with the Ace of Swords. Yep, somebody realized this is. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Just that many. That many on one card? You need that many? But I know I'm not somebody who should be talking, but it's like. You really need that many? On one card. Half a deck. Uh, more than half the deck? Yep. At least something you got a whole different something deck. Something is happening. I feel like somebody here, without somebody, somebody wouldn't know. The four of wands. There's a fucking, there's a fucking, there's a fucking card like that. Happy, or you like to see happy relationships. Why are you thinking you know? you're just, there's a whole fucking card right there. But you really skip it for the third, okay. I'm annoyed now and just looking at it because it's like you got almost like an entire deck over here and then you skip this one which is the poison one and you go all oh, right you know it's your cards you can read them however but I feel like there's a jump for some reason you you thrive in it or you wish all right well you get in a relationship and then when you bring it to these people they just take turns being like hell no and I don't like them because of this right here and that and then this person be like, uh uh, I don't like the fact that they wore, no, nah, hell no. Nah. Are they gang banging? And then this person, nope. And the reason why I don't like. So I got bored of that, so we'll go to this. Okay. So this is her web page, or actual website, powered by Kumi. That way. Carmen Um, that neck, that, that neck tattoo. The butterflies. The line of the of the lace. The lining of the lace. The fact that her complexion is supposed to be darker than me, but she looks like she's my complexion. Everything you need to know. So this is where you go to book. This is self-mastery. This is membership. She's on Instagram, Spotify, and of course YouTube. Click here to book spread reading, speed readings, personal readings, and her self-mastery. She got a whole playlist. She got memberships. She got a music video, which is the only one for some reason she's got up. I don't know why. Uh, let's see what this is. Oh, this is just her music playlist. Oh, oh, oh. This one right here is what she called, uh, was when she's talking about Dopahannas. This is the song she made about Dopahannas. I don't know if I have Spotify on here. Why do I need Spotify just to listen to something that's yours? Like, shit. Why do I need it? You know what? Fuck that. I'm not signing in. Like, obviously, we're not listening to it because I don't feel like it. Let's look at this membership shit. Um, exit? Okay, don't give a fuck. That's nice. Become a star. A boss up member. What's that say? Oh, it leads directly back to this YouTube channel. Oh, there we go. So for $10 a month, you could be her star money star boss zit up. Loyalty badges next to your name in the comment. Exclusive once a week love reading. Boss up only live chat. Shout out. Exclusive community tab updates. Oh. How about this? Become a OWTB subscriber. Oh, no. This is TikTok. Why does it look like that? Why does the screen look like this? If you grew from it, don't return to it. What?
one month, two months, okay. Appreciation gifts. I don't even see. There's perks and shit, but I don't see a price for none of this. And that's kind of weird. It's also weird how this is all up in my shit. Okay, so there's that one. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's look at personal reading spreads. Let's see what that looks like. Number one tarot source. What is this? Carnobites.org? We can be a good girl forever, but we can be a great woman every day. You didn't say that shit. Oh! Oh! Look, oh, well, at least she moved from 666 to 2. To that $2. That's good. But apparently she created a whole different site so she can direct people to a whole different site. What is this? I'm not clicking there. It's probably like a thingy. The star space. Please note, services get updated often. Be sure to stop by frequently to keep yourself updated. Speed spread readings are done while live. There will be no refunds for missed readings. Only three cards. Thirty-five fucking dollars. What? Hold on. Thirty-five dollars for three fucking cards. Why is she writing it in that weird, like, uh, like I'm happy because I can actually read this because I can see what it says, but it's, uh, it's kind of hard because the text is like that weird shit that people get on Android sometimes. I can't remember what it's called. It's not Papayas, because I like Papayas. I can read Papayas fine. It's that other one where it's just wonky and some, like, but people get mad at, like, uh, Comic Sans. I'll, I'll never understand it. Um, big clarity. Don't know how many cards, but that's forty-eight dollars. Obstacle will be no justice will be served. Fifty-three dollars. Wow, that real. Wow, I thought that was obstacle. That's justice. Mm. Uh, lock of the draw or a question. Sixty-two dollars for a fucking question. I should have been charging that every time everyone asked me a question, but still. Log on the draw or a question? Is a question mark? 62 fucking dollars. Is that one card? And our, those are all our cash up stuff. And then there's a little banner that says, but wait, there's more. Because that's not hers either. That's actually a logo from the one dude with the Oxyclean. Important booking info. Call this number if you're interested in a personal reading, but would like to use a different payment method other than credit or debit card. Please do not send money to book a personal reading. Example, great person 111 sent you a $95 for there are two sides to every love story. Yeah, sure. Okay, so she got choose your fate. Talk about this, talk about that. Whatever is said cannot be taken back. Book now. It's $82 for 30 minutes. $82 for 30 minutes. Um, but three cards will get to 35 Unless you're just pulling the card and then that's 62 Life is changing. Find out how. There's been a major shift for some for good, some for great. I know I can find many things you're reading. That will whatever. Oh, there's more to the words. Oh shit! Hold on, let, let me look at this one. I didn't know there were more words. Yeah, I'm not going into some bitch without protection. Wait, do I need to switch browsers? So it in the current window. It's fine. Oh, that's it. Think positive. You will see. What is meant for you will always be. Okay, you know what? I mean, that's great, but I was just looking here. Uh, that makes me upset. Wait, what do you mean by old Firefox? Yeah, just cancel that, because that doesn't need to be happening. I didn't even know that was a thing, but that's good to know. Let's see. 
Um, well, I'm not clicking on all these just to see that they're just like two words more than what I thought they were. That was actually disappointing. There's been a major shift. So I'm gonna bet. This one is an hour for 132 minutes. Which is great because it's not double to choose your fate, which is 30 minutes, but that's still up there. I guess maybe there's a discount. Then there is a the raw truth, no filters. I don't care. I'm telling it all. What goes upward, sometimes it takes a fall. Book now, 45 minutes for $102. No, okay, cool. But yeah, that's um, her main shit. Self mastery is just her music list, which is like that's nice. But you can't listen to it unless you have one of them things. Then she's got a whole other video here. Let's look at, see if we can look at that. Will you let me look at that so I can see what, how this bitch moves? She got nails that look like Cell from Dragon Ball Z. How am I supposed to feel about this? And you can't, and you're using auto tune. This should be crazy. Bitches throwing pussy. Niggas throwing dick. What? What's the catch? Cause if I need you, you ain't helping me with shit. Helping me with shit. Cause for real, I'm trying to make it to the top. You can watch. I'm so focused. I don't ever. There ain't a mountain up to shit. I don't hear a thing you saying. You just yapping with your lips. You was cool, but I peak game. And now it's time I flip the switch. Have a seat. Way you moving got me staring at your feet. They searching for my weakness. Wanna know how to compete? Ma'am, you're in the fucking jail. What's there to compete with? Is your old music video is you in jail? Now for air, you can tell that I'm the shit just by the way I wear my hair. They want me to be pressed, but I just brush it off. I'm a pain in bitches' heads and they need time and all. Here I go, locked up, all because I want to help you. People. Wait, wait. Who took my kindness for weakness? When I get out this time, it's all about me. Who'd you go to jail for? Who did it? Show me, I'll hit him in the face for you, but Nobody else. Mm -hmm. On that flip side, I see you trying to ride my way, but I'm too deep. Two people can't get on my surfboard, it's only meant for me. Just let me be. I'm not mad, I just feel like you're not the one for me. Who? Okay, I don't think that that's naturally hers, because, like, the music doesn't fit the rhyme she's spitting, yo. In my in my blackest voice, but it's just like, whose song is that you took? It, like, let, watch, let me Shazam this shit and find out whose song this is. I love you, Wad. If it ain't side by cam, I don't know who the fuck is side by.
Shazam did. It came up with Karma Bites, actually. Let me show you all. Because I, I Shazam the fuck out of everything. On my old phone, I had more. But look, first off was Karma Bites, right? Oh, I won't even let you play the song. Is that a good thing or bad? It won't let me play the song. But then I find the actual song. And this is like, I don't even know how old this is, but it's a uh, Lane and Beck featuring Young Cabin and A-N-X-T. N-X-T. Is that something like anxiety or something? I'm not sure, but yeah. <laughs> This is their B. I I fucking even sat here and was just sitting there thinking like this, she used to flow with this beat like she made it. You know what I mean? Cause you can you can tell if someone's singing to something they didn't make compared to someone who actually made the beat to fit the the song they had in their head. You know what I mean? Like I didn't make the the song on this beat. I made the beat to go with this because this is the only thing that sounded right. You know what I mean? It's just like thief, 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 thief. Thief, 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 thief. Completely untrustworthy person. I wasn't even trying to find out if they did some shit like that. And thief and completely untrustworthy. It's a terror reader. This uh, not someone who's divine, not someone special, not even an empress, just a regular old human being doing human being shit. And other human beings don't like because you keep stealing from them for no reason. For no reason. Now, if you can put this much energy over sitting, acting like you're sitting in the jail with the auto tune, acting like you're singing and shit, you can at least make your own tune. I think this one came out like two months ago or some shit like that. Still though. That's Carmen Bites for you. So, that's her website. That's who she is. That's all of that junk. So now we all know. This is why we need to vibrate higher. Alright. Also, if you've never heard of Death Grips... <laughs> ex-military the music looks exactly how the guy looks so don't be going in there having any expectations you better assume that you're probably gonna get shot at like I'm just letting you know that's probably what it is but I'm just letting you know that's what it is so this is another one for you and I know some people might be wondering well why are you looking at this like this shit right here Sly why are you going out of your way to, to look at all these different people and what they do and it, 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 it's simple it's because like I've been watching these people this entire fucking time I just feel a little bit more um brave enough to point them out but there's no point in me pointing them out if I'm not gonna have the time um to show you an, a, at least a good decent example of why you need to be careful what the fuck they say. Take it with a pound. I say take my shit with a pound of salt. At least take theirs with a grain of salt. But you need to know what you need to know. It's not like they went and like copied something off of a website and pretended it was theirs. Um, literally going out of your way to behave a certain way and actually affect people directly. That's a completely different thing. Needs to be spoken about, needs to be mentioned. I don't care what people think of me for, like, doing this shit, but uh, damn it, someone's got to do it because nobody else is paying attention. But then again, there are a lot of people who pay attention to this shit and just don't care because they're too busy worried about whether or not that woman's husband's, are, like, their twin flame. I, or did y'all already forget that uh, that fucking episode of this shit? You did, didn't you? Because that was when the last... No, that was before the meth head. That was before the meth, the meth head. That was before the meth head. But the point still stands. The point still stands. Either way. I hope this helps someone out. It makes them feel better about themselves. Don't go stealing people's shit and getting mad about it once you get caught, neither. Nobody appreciates that shit. 
nobody. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. You be safe. Stay suspicious. And I love your face. Um, please be good. It's karma bites with a variety of different sizes of teeth. Okay. okay. Love your face. Bye.